Hello, this is Mr. Stansberry. I'm going to take you through the notes on solving exponential equation using logarithms. At the end of this, you should be able to say I can solve exponential equation using logarithms and I can estimate the solution to an exponential equation. Okay, so first things first, estimate the solution, then solve to three decimal places. Okay, so to estimate. So 3 to what power is going to give us 32 or something close in there? So really what you can do is think of 3 to the first is 3, 3 squared is 9, 3 to the third is 27, and then 3 to the fourth is 81. So it's between 27 and 81, so we know x is between 3 and 4. There's our estimation. Okay. So now to actually solve this thing, we're going to go um, do our good old uh, logarithms is going to help us figure this out. Okay. Okay. Now here, there's like, there's several ways to do this. I'm going to show you one way um, that I think that most people find the easiest. There's the least amount of memorizing and um, then away you go. So here's what we've got. We've got 3 to the x equals 32. What we do to one side of the equation, we have to do to the other side of the equation, right? So let's do this. We're going to take the log of both sides, log of 3 to the x equals log 32, right? Now, we did that because whenever you take the log of something, this x gets to come out front. So really, this is x log 3 equals log 32, right? If we want to get x by itself, we divide both sides by log 3. And we get that x equals whatever log 32 divided by log 3 is. So bring out our calculator. Log 32 equals divide by um, log 3. And we get 3.15 uh, to three decimal, 3DP, three decimal places. So 3.155. 3.155 would be our answer to 3DP decimal places. Okay? Which, is, which fits our estimation because we knew it was between 3 and 4. Okay? Same thing here. 5 to the first is 5. To the second is 25. 5 cubed is 125. So we know it's between 2 and 3. Okay, so it's going to be about 2 point something or other. So to solve this thing here, take log of both sides, right? Log of 5 to the x equals log 100. Move the x out front. x log 5 equals log 100 and then divide both sides by log 5. And we get that x equals whatever log 100 divided by log 5 is. So log 100, which should equal 2, right? Because that's saying 10 to the second power gives us 100. Um, anyway, divide that by log of 5. And we get 2.861 to three decimal places. Okay, so that is our um, estimation and solving using logarithms. Okay, all right, we move on to some more examples here. Find the solution to three decimal places. 4 to the x minus 2 equals 35.6. So let's just log both sides. Log of 4 to the x, oops, to the x minus 2 equals log 35.6. This x minus 2 now can come out front, so we get x minus 2 log 4 equals log 35.6. Divide both sides by log 4. And we get x minus 2 has to equal whatever that is. So let's plug that in and see what we get. So we do log of 35.6 equals divide by log 4 equals and give it 2.577 we'll call it 
2.577 and then we have to add the 2 to get x by itself so x in this case is going to equal 4.577 okay um, d 3 to the 2x equals 0 0.4 so we can take the log of both sides log 3 to the 2x equals log 0 0.4 2x comes out front, so we get 2x times log 3 equals log 0 0.4. Divide both sides by log 3. And 2x equals whatever log of 0 0.4 divided by 3 is of log 3. Log 0.4 equals, and you're always going to want to put equals Either that or you have to use enough parentheses to make sure that you get it right. But it'll always work if you do the equals first. Then divide by log 3. And we get negative 0 0.834. 834. But then we got to divide both sides by 2 to get x by itself. So we simply take that and divide it by 2. And we get negative 0.417. Okay, okay, I uh, got a couple last uh, quick examples to show you, but before we do that, let's take a quick comedy break. This is back to an example we did earlier in this unit here. Penelope's been tracking a population of Emperor Tamarin near her home. Population is given by this formula here, where n is the number of years after the first population was recorded. How long until the population reaches 200? So, here's what we want to do. This 200 is going to go in for this population right here, right? So we simply write 200 equals 42 times 1.06 to the n, right? So there's our n. We know whenever we get an exponent that's our variable, we're going to have to use logarithms. But before we do that, we want to get this here all by itself. So we got to get rid of this 42. The 42 right now is being multiplied by the 1.06 to the n. So to get undo multiplication, we have to divide both sides by 42 first. Okay, so we get... 200 divided by 42 gives us 4.762, we'll call it, equals 1.06 to the n power. So now we can take the log of both sides. Log of 1.06 to the n. I was a little confused there because, look, 1. That almost looks like log right there. So... Anyway, this n comes out front, right? So we get n log 1.06 equals log 4.762 and divide both sides by log 1.06. Right? And that will tell us what n has to be. So we do log. We probably could have left that same number in there, but that's okay. 4.7 six two equals divide by log one point zero six and we get twenty six point eight we'll call it so twenty six point eight basically twenty six point eight years later it should end up being about two hundred for the population. Okay? All right, and last one, also the fermented yak butter tea from earlier in this unit here is left out on the table. It cools down by given this formula where T is temperature in degrees, M is time in minutes. How long until the soup is at 72 degrees? 72 degrees is the temperature, so that's going to go in for this T here. So we get 72 equals 100 times 0 0.72 to the m 
plus 70. So again, we got to get this thing all by itself. First thing we got to do, subtract 70 from both sides to get rid of that. And we get 2 equals 100 times 0 0.72 to the M. Now this 100 is being multiplied by that, so we got to divide both sides by 100 to get that 0 0.72 to the M by itself to divided by 100 is 0.02, right? 0 0.02. So now we take a log of both sides. Log 0 0.02 equals log 0 0.72 to the M. We know that M now can come out front. M log 0 0.72 equals log 0 0.02. We're going to get the M by itself, so we divide both sides by log 0 0.72. And the number of minutes that would take would be log 0 0.02 equals divide by log 0 0.72, 11.9 minutes. Okay, so it's going to take about 12 minutes or so for that thing to cool down to 72. How long until the soup is at 65 degrees? So if we set that up, 65 equals 100, 0 0.72 to the M plus 70. First thing we're going to do is subtract 70 from both sides. 65 minus 70 is negative 5 equals 100 times 0 0.72 to the M divide both sides by 100 and we get negative 0 0.05 equals 0 0.72 to the M right <clears throat> so we take the log of both sides we got log negative 0 0.05 equals log 0 0.72 to the M M comes out front log 0 0.72 log, oops, negative 0 0.05, divide both sides by log 0 0.72, log 0 0.72, and we get that M equals, and then here's the interesting or maybe not so interesting part, log negative 0 0.05 gives us an error, right, because you cannot take 10 to some power to get a negative number. So you cannot take the log of a negative. So this has got, it cannot, it can't happen. And here's another reason why. Because look, if this thing, you're trying to get it down to 65, this number here will always be positive, And you're adding a positive number to 70. So this will never get below 70 degrees, which is probably what the room temperature is. So how long until the soup is at 65? Never. Not until you put it in the fridge. So, okay. All right, that's all we have for solving exponential equation using logarithms. If you have any further questions, please feel free to ask. Thanks.